Hello everyone, we will continue the topic persistence class and in the previous video, we called the method get underscore persistent of agent class to validate the input. Now we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode and based upon that, we will go for few code changes also. Because if I will not go for debugging and directly write the code changes, it is very difficult to understand why I am doing this. So it is always the best way. Use debugging always to understand the flow. But I will do, I will put a breakpoint firstly in add selection screen event. I will put a breakpoint in start of selection also. Now, firstly, I will run the program. I will firstly pass a input which is already in the table. Suppose I am going for order number one. If you see order number one is already in the table, already in the table. Now, what I will do, I will simply select the insert radio button and go for execute. Now, firstly, add selection screen event will trigger because this event triggers on every action and execute is also a action. So first radio button, capital X. Now, we have the object of the agent class. We are passing it to LO underscore agent. That is our local object we declared in the program. This LO underscore agent. Now, this object is created. Can we call the method get underscore persistent? Yes. Just see as of now, LO underscore object is initial. The object of CL class has not created. I am passing a order number which is already in the table. It means I will get a result and the object will create. And you can see we the object is created. The object is successfully created. If the object is created, I should get a error message and the object is not initial. Yes, this object is not initial. I am getting this if condition is true and we are getting an error message. System stopped there itself. True. Now you can understand how, how get is working. Now, now I am going for a order number which is not in that table. Now few code changes will also come into picture. Suppose I am going for order number 100 which is not in that table. I will go for some order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. I will go for insert. I will go for OK. Now you will see the clarity here itself. See, our logic to get the object of agent class, to get the object of CL class has not executed but still system has the object system has the objects now just see how it will impact i'm just going for this first radio button capital x we are getting the object of agent class done now we are going for a order number which is not in the table if i will do f6 if I will do F6. Now, have you seen exception triggered? Exception triggered. It means the order number is not in that table. But still, system has the previous objects. Because of that previous object, this if condition is always, always true. And system will again raise the error message. So what we need to do? Whenever we are coming before the objects are getting created, we should clear them. 
so that every time yes it will go for new object creation because we are going for passing the input again yes so we should clear this once i will clear you will automatically understand in the next second case the object will not create i will not get the object of cl class i am getting the object which is created when i pass the input for the first time this is our previous previous object yes now what i will do i will simply put the clear statement in this clear in this insert database operation i will write clear I will clear the object of agent class also. I will clear the object of our CL class also. Now I will show you and you will get more and more clarity. If I will not show in the debugging mode, you will not understand. And because previous object is still there in the session, so we will not always, always get the error. Now I will put a breakpoint. Suppose I will go for a order number which is in that table. We will again do this. Suppose I will go for order number one. Insert. I will go to desktop three. So if you see hello agent, hello object has not created because I again run the program. So they are initial. Clear, anyways clear will clear, but it will not make any difference. Now we are getting the object of agent class. Now we are passing a order number, which is in the table. Now the object of CL class created because I am passing a right order number. If the object is created, if I get the result, it means I should give a error message. Right. Now I will go for a order number which is not in the table. Now you will get how clear is now giving us the right result. Okay. Now, first video button X. See, previous data is still there because I have not run the program again. I am just I am on SC38 out input screen itself. I am just running that particular program. Yes. So in that case, now if once the clear will execute, you can see both clear, both initial. This is what we want. Now, now we are passing the object of a CA class, agent class to LO underscore agent. Now we have the object of the agent class. Now we are calling the method get underscore persistent. Now you are going for a input which is not in the table. It means LO underscore object will not, we will not get any result we will not get any result into hello underscore object. And you can see hello underscore object is initial. Previously, it was there because we have not run the program again. In the same program, we corrected the input and we are running that. So previous values were still there. So we are always, always getting the error. Now we are going for a input which is not in the table. So LO object is initial. So system will not throw the error. A system will not throw the error. Now system will go to which event now? Start of selection. Now you can see start of selection. Now we are going for first radio button, capital X. We have the object. You can see object is same to same. We are just passing the reference to this particular variable. If you do not want, if you are confusing why I have written this. See previously, we have only start of selection. Now we have add selection screen also. 
and in add selection screen i have already written this statement so if you want to remove from here you can remove no problem because your add selection screen will always always trigger first if you are going for wrong input still it will call if you are going for right input still it will call so your object of the agent class will always always be in this particular allo agent so if you are confusing why why two times no problem you can remove this but we are not creating any object we are just passing the reference to allo underscore agent because i clearly told we cannot create a object of agent class outside the class sap is creating in the class underscore constructor method and we are using now you can see we have the object of agent class create underscore persistent method now it will simply simply create the object of our cl class now it is create persistent create persistent will give the result if we are going for new order number it is very important to understand what is create and what is get create will return the result if you are going for a input which is not in that table if it is able to create a order number get always give the result if the order number is in the table now we have the object of cl class we are setting the order date payment mode total amount and currency so i will simply execute these methods now it will simply simply reflect into the tables and commit work is there so it will go for our saving into database if i will check the database table you can see we have the record in the database table very very important video so what is the summary of the video in this video firstly i started explaining in the debugging mode firstly what i did i gave a input which is in the table so when this logic executed we got the result when we got the result we should give the error because order number is in the table then i passed a input which is not in the table we got the exception but previous values were still there and because of that we are still getting the error so what we have written i cleared the objects and after that we are again going for and but if it is right we will get the object of agent class if it is right we will get the object of cl class so before that itself we cleared then i again entered into debugging mode we checked for a input which is in the table we got the error when i gave a order number which is not in the table allo underscore object is initial it means system will go for what start of selection and we simply inserted that order number and one point which i told if you are confused why why this statement is a part of start of selection and add selection screen no problem you can remove from start of selection do not remove from add selection screen because add selection screen will always trigger first because we are validating also the input in the next video we will go for update and delete and this method get will play a vital role because you all know we can update and delete the existing records of the data is stable so that's it in this video thank you